Sarin. Uh, I'm doing my MD in uh, Duke NUS and I was uh, doing bioengineering in NUS. Other than the fact that Duke NUS is the only postgraduate medical school in Singapore, uh, I think it's also because um, Duke is very reputable uh, in the US and uh, I mean that also correlates with what I been experiencing since I came here. I was also drawn by the whole team lead process. I felt it was dynamic and you can really learn in, in uh, groups um, and I really liked how they described it so I came here. Actually I was already interested in medicine, it's just that I didn't get into uh, medicine school in uh, NUS. I started working after graduating. While I was working I was also doing community service and I was really uh, stretched on both fronts because um, uh, I was passionate about both of them. I was thinking to myself, why don't I just merge something that, you know, just something like, you know, I think can benefit the community and a job because I'm going to uh, work anyway, right? So just merge the two and, and give my 100%. And um, that's why I was thinking of doing medicine. I was designing biomedical devices and uh, I was working under a surgeon who was also uh, a trained engineer. Um, and he was, uh, we were all giving all these ideas, but he had this um, acumen, this sense of what can work and what cannot work. And I thought that would be very useful in, in, in terms of uh, doing or, or making devices. So, you know, I think the switch was, was very appealing to me. Okay, the team lead process, as the name suggests, it's uh, basically a team. In my opinion, it's supposed to uh, simulate um, how the work environment is like because you can't choose your team and basically you have different people with different personalities and different talents and different specialities so you know we are, some of the teams they have pharmacists they have uh, even accountants, nurses and, and all these people uh, bring different uh, perspectives and insights and um, that to me is what Team Lead is about in uh, working in teams. I've benefited from Team Lead uh, I guess based on the principle that you learn better when you teach uh, you know you retain it better and uh, of course also the personal uh, skills and, um, and relating to people. I think the uh, advice I would give is that um, you really got to know uh, why you're doing this and if you're clear about it, uh, you know, uh, talk to doctors, talk to other doctors and find out you know, what it's really about and if you're sure you want to do this uh, and if you're in medicine school already, just persevere because it will get better.